Puluji Kalina, the chairman of FIFA's Referees Committee, confirmed that fourth officials had been instructed to keep track of time lost during the game during the tournament in Qatar, something they had also tried to do at the previous World Cup in Russia in 2018. The five single halves with the most stoppage time in a single World Cup match since records began in 1966 were all on Monday and Tuesday. In the first game, England versus Iran's first half added 13 minutes and 59 seconds of extra time. The second game, Argentina versus Saudi Arabia, in the second half of the match have been added 13 minutes and 53 seconds of extra time. Next is the match between England and Iran in the second half, added 13 minutes and 5 seconds of extra time. Between USA and Wales, the second half added 10 minutes and 30 to seconds. Next was the game between Senegal and Netherlands, with 10 minutes and 3 seconds added in the second half. Unsurprisingly, all that added time led to some very late goals. Mehdi Taremi's penalty for Iran against England came with 100 to minutes and 30 seconds on the clock. This is the latest World Cup goal on record, excluding extra time. That was swiftly followed by the second latest goal scored in the tournament, scored by Davy Klaassen, scored for the Netherlands at 98 minutes and 17 seconds on the clock. The approach has certainly caused a stir on social media, with some fans praising FIFA's attempts to clamp down on time wasting, but others feeling it is leading to unnecessarily long games. Either way, it should make you think twice if you ever consider leaving a match early again. You don't know how much action you will miss.